Hi everyone, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this short video I'm going to talk about setting up multiple users in Google Chrome. So you might be thinking, why do I want to set up multiple users in Google Chrome? This is really important if you regularly use more than one Google account. So I'm going to start by showing you what most people do and then talking why that about why that could be a problem and then explaining what you can do instead and showing you how to set it up. So you can see here I'm just on the Google homepage and I've actually got my account logged in, my Google account logged in. You can see my little profile picture up here and if I click on that it's actually going to show me my account there logged in and you'll see I've got another account listed below. That is because I've actually clicked the add account button and that's how I've added a second account if you like and many people do that. The problem can arise with that is it requires you to keep switching between different accounts when you're accessing different files and calendar events and hangouts and stuff like that, Google Drive content within a different account. So if you've ever kind of got that idea of you need to re um, request access, if you've ever seen that message or you need to switch accounts to access this resource, it can be a bit of a problem. So for example, if I was to switch back to this one, my little picture will change. If I click on it again, you'll see that I'm now in this account, but my initial one that I've shown you is actually listed as the default. And that's important to know because a lot of Google tools will automatically kind of go to that default account when you're trying to access something, hence you've always got to switch to the other one. So in the training sessions we run, I see a lot of people having problems accessing resources because of this. So my top tip is don't use this add account button to access a second account. What is far better to do is actually set up multiple users in Chrome. So before we actually go ahead and do that though, I want to show you how to check that your Chrome is up to date because if not, it's probably not going to look the same as what's in this video and indeed by the what time you watch this video, Chrome may very well have changed slightly again so you will just try and have to follow along but it's always good to check that it is as up to date as possible. So to do that, you can come up to the little dots up the top right corner here and if you go down to help, right at the top you'll see about Google Chrome. And if I click on that, it's actually going to do a check of the version and you'll see mine is up to date. So if yours isn't, it's probably going to say it's downloading updates and then it will prompt you to restart it. Um, I would do that and then I would come back in and check for the latest version again and just make sure that it has updated completely to the latest version. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, once you've done that, is to actually check if you have signed into Chrome with any accounts. So signing into Chrome the browser is actually different from signing into your Google account and it is possible to be signed into Chrome with one Google account and into your G Suite or Gmail account with a different Google account so it's always good to check. So again up to these little dots and go down to settings and you'll see at the top here it's got this people section. So again yours may end up looking slightly different depending on what version you're on but generally the information will be mostly the same. Now you see mine's actually got my um, email address listed there and it's asking me whether I want to sync as Samantha. That's actually telling me that I am not signed in. If I was signed in, it would actually prompt me to turn off the sync. Um, if you still have a slightly ver older version, it might actually say sign out or sign in. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually not signed into Chrome at all. So that's good. If you open this up and you have signed in, just take a note of the account that you've signed in with because we'll make sure we set that up as the first user in Chrome. Okay, so next step to get all this sorted is you actually need to log out of all the Google accounts you've logged into. So key thing before you do this is you need to make sure you know and remember all the passwords to the Google accounts you've signed in. So if you click here and you see three or four different Google accounts that you need to use, make sure you know the passwords. Okay, once you've got that handled, you can then sign out of an account. So I'm going to sign out of this one. And what I'm then going to do is actually go and click sign in here. Okay, so I'm not now currently signed into anything. But you'll see it actually still lists my accounts here. And it says they're both signed out, so that's awesome. But what I'm going to do is go down and click remove an account. And I'm actually going to take both of these off this Chrome profile so I can just start a scratch. Now if you don't want to take both off that's fine like for me now I know that the first account I'm going to sign into Chrome with is this one so I could technically leave it but often I say to people let's just get rid of them all so I'm going to remove it 
so that I can start completely fresh because often I see people with you know three or four different accounts and it's quite confusing so don't panic when I'm clicking remove an account here I'm not actually deleting my Google account or anything I'm just removing it from Chrome knowing about it okay so I'm now back to a completely fresh Chrome and it does not know which Google account I've been using so I'm going to log in with one now um, and then I'm going to show you how to actually sign into Chrome with that one. So just give me a sec as I go and put my details in here. Okay, so I've signed on in and if I click up here now, you will see only one account signed in. So that's great. And it's actually still put my little picture up here and this is where now I can go and sign into Chrome. So I'm going to click on those dots, again go down to settings and this is back where we were before. So I'm going to say, right, let's sync it as me. So by signing into Chrome, what actually happens is Chrome knows that you're the user um, and it actually syncs all of your bookmarks, your history, um, all of that kind of stuff, your passwords, if you save your passwords in here. So it's really good because it just means you can sign into or sync Chrome on any device and you'll be able to access all of that stuff. So I'm going to sign in, let that sync. Now it will pop up here and it says, do I want to link my Chrome data to my Google account. I do, so I'm going to click link data and it's done. And you'll see now, popped up, you've turned on sync, okay. And that's that little turn off message I talked about to you earlier, but it's got me with that account and all done. So at this point, what I want to do is actually then add my other account to Chrome. So this is where from this screen, I can go straight into manage other people. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open. There's me. And just as a side note, you can probably watch on the little video. See how it's syncing all of my bookmarks, all of my extensions. Some of them are opening them up. <laughs> so all of that stuff is actually syncing right now as um, because I've signed in. So that's really, really good. Now, back to this screen. What I can do is now click Manage Other People. And I can add another user. So I'm going to click Add Person here. And I'm going to call this something different. So I might, if that other account was my work account, I might call this one personal Samantha or something like that. In my case, the one I'm going to add is a training account. So I'm going to call it um, training account. Okay, so you might call it personal account, work account, whatever works for you. You can also create desktop shortcuts, which means you'll end up with multiple Chrome desktop shortcuts that actually go to the right account. So that can be quite helpful. Um, do need to pick a picture and this is really important because the picture is going to live up here where like my little profile picture is so you know which account you're in. So I'm going to go with the little flower and click add. So what happens now is you'll notice a new Chrome window has opened and it's got the little flower up here and it says training account. So this is really important to know. This is not just a new Chrome window it is actually a whole separate instance of Chrome. So these two Chrome instances here are separate. They can have separate bookmarks, separate history. They don't talk to each other, which means the two accounts don't get confused. So when I'm logged into my work Google account here and my training Google account here, they don't get conflicted. Um, I'm always accessing the files in the right account and that kind of thing. So if I now expand this again and I was to click sign in, Okay, if that sign in didn't come up, you could come up to the little dots up the top and go into your settings and do it through there. But I can now log in with my other account. Oops. Next, and we'll just pop the password in. And it too is going to start syncing everything. So you can see now, prompting me to link data. Yes. Here I am as the training version of me. Again, no other counts down the bottom here. And the one over here, as I said before, is WorkSAM. So how I then switch between these two profiles in Chrome is just by clicking up here. So if I click on that little picture, I can then say I want to flip to UTB SAM. There I am, back to where I was before. If I click on that again, I can flip back to training Sam and you can see all my bookmarks and extensions are syncing over here completely separate to this account here. So you can always of course just minimize your windows and toggle between the two of them down the bottom here in Windows or Mac wherever you are but it's a really easy way then to flip.
It's also really good if you're doing personal browsing um, in your own time on a work device. It just means if you're doing it in your personal Chrome profile, then when you're at work, you know, you might have things up on the projector or whatever. You're not seeing all your personal browsing history hop, pop up and that kind of thing. So it really helps you keep work life and personal life separate. So hopefully that helps um, you set up multiple accounts. And if you've got any questions, just let me know via email. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.